Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at the book of Revelation, and we're now in chapter 9. Remember back in chapter 6, there was a scene in heaven where God had a seven-sealed book in his hand, and only the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, was worthy to open it. And in chapter 6, six of those seals were open. Then when you come to chapter 8 now, you have the seventh seal is open. There's silence in heaven, and the angel there gives seven angels, seven trumpets, and those trumpets begin to sound. Now, we've already looked at chapter uh, 8 when those angels sounded those trumpets. Several things happened. The first angel sounded, and there was hell and fire mingled with blood thrown to the earth, and a third of the trees and a third of the green grass was burned up. Then the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown in the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. Then we we noticed the third angel sounded and a great star fell from heaven burning like a torch it fell upon the rivers and on the springs of waters on the earth and the name of the star was wormwood and the waters became wormwood or they became bitter poisonous undrinkable and many men died that was the third angel the fourth angel sounded and a third of the sun and a third of the moon and a third of the stars was struck such that it became darkened and the third of the day and night were darkened. It was a time of terrible darkness. Time of terrible tribulation breaks forth as the seven seals are open, and you see the first three and a half uh, tribulation uh, years of the tribulation take place, and then the trumpets begin to sound, and the last three and a half years of the tribulation takes place. Now, we're at the fifth angel in chapter 9, and uh, he, when he sounds, a star falls from heaven again and falls to the earth. Now, this star is a little different, and we believe this star is Satan himself being cast out of heaven. Now, we don't think this is the time that Satan was cast out of heaven back in uh, Isaiah 14 and Isaiah 24 when his heart was lifted up with pride, and he took a third of the angels of heaven out with him to be on his side, to become literally what we we believe are demonic spirits that do his bidding upon the earth. And so he was the star that was cast out of heaven in this, in this uh, chapter here. But here he is cast out of heaven for the, I believe, last time. We'll see another description of this a little bit later, I think in chapter 12 and 13. Now, we uh, see this happening, and we believe this takes place because Satan does have access to God. Remember the book of Job. He went before God and said, I uh, believe Job needs to be, uh, he needs to be tried because his faith is not really real, and so uh, God allowed Satan. So it appeared Satan had access to heaven. He fought with Michael the archangel over the body of Moses later. So we see here he's like a star. He's cast from heaven. Jesus even mentioned about uh, the star being cast from heaven, which was Satan in one of his messages in the Gospels. So we believe that these uh, third of the angels that get cast out with him are these demonic spirits, and some of them are so bad that they're locked up into the abyss. They're locked up into the abyss, and here he's given a key to uh, loose these dudes, these terrible, terrible, terrible grotesque demons. And so they are giving the power to hurt men for five months with like the sting of a scorpion. And so people seek death in verse 6 and cannot find it. They desire to die, but death flees from them. Now, when you start in verse 7, the shape of the locusts were like horses prepared for battle. Their heads had crowns of gold, something like gold, and their faces were like the faces of men. They had the hair like women's hair. They had teeth like lion's teeth. They had breastplate like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots of many horses running into battle. They had tails like scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men for five months. 
Now we'll close with that description there for today. Tomorrow we'll talk about this king who's been set over them. But as, as we see this, I just remember the grotesque uh, statutes of demons that people worshipped in other countries that I've seen. These, these creatures are like something you've never seen on planet earth. They're vile, they're wicked, they're bad, they're evil, and they're let loose in this tribulation period. All I can say is, my friend, you don't want to be here during that time. Make sure you're ready right now to be with the Lord Jesus Christ when the rapture comes. God bless and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.